company. Decades later, he heads back to his childhood town, accompanied by his American wife, who enthusiastically joins his pioneering efforts. A basic desire was uh, from an interesting incident uh, when I was in high school. I had gone to hear Dr. Shivaram Karanth. So this was at the uh, annual social gathering of a high school. He was talking about uh, how a human being should live a responsible life. One of the concepts he had talked about is debt to the society. It's beautiful, economics as if uh, people mattered. I would say that it made the deepest impact and made me really understand what is the socio-economic conditions, how does a country adopt its development policies, how can the poor be helped and so on. The Hiremats identified 72 villages for development and began work under the umbrella name of India Development Service. Soon it was obvious that the rights would have to be fought for, but IDS being a development agency could not participate in agitations, so a new organization was floated, Samaj Parivartan Samudaya, whose work was to be entirely overseen by Mr. Hiremat. So as we were making immense uh, uh, progress through the village and livelihood in two entire villages, no trees grew here. Those which did were stunted. Even the children appeared stunted here. The smoke was so dangerously toxic that any object got misshapen. I saw iron poles that had been corroded. The same water in which the factory disposes its effluence. The company had not bothered to install any gadget to filter the water. It was released into the river just as it was. The toxins proved so dangerous that they destroyed the oxygen in the water. Starved of oxygen, the fish died and floated up to the surface. Things were especially bad during summer when water dried up, increasing the concentration of toxins in the water. The fish kills went up alarmingly. This decision that anybody takes is in the minds. So a team of us, uh, the village activists, volunteers and more importantly some primary school teachers, we went to Gujarat for a 15 day orientation camp in Vedchi because they were very concerned about this non-violent direct action okay. in such serious live problems. See non-violent direct action is basically a rediscovery of the techniques that uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi so successfully used during our freedom struggle. Non-violent direct action is a general or a generic term for a broad spectrum of techniques that are used. Some for example what they call as a vigil line. So wherever you have a serious case of exploitation, where you have a serious problem like pollution, standing just in front of the factory in silence for four hours, that is called a vigil line. So most of them are satyagrahis who are trained. Then we have a small group of people who sing songs. We have a small group of people who sell the publications and all that. So it is a first step which is very legal basically asserting our right of expression of the suffering that the people have taken. And it goes to the other broad spectrum of non-violent direct action where you have what is called civil disobedience. In other words, you break the law. We were able to be part of this major effort to bring about a change in the national forest policy. I regard the struggle against KPL as one of the pioneering environmental agitations in India. The cabinet had already given its approval to the proposal. The land had already been awarded and had changed hands. The required plantation had already been completed in several places. To oppose government decision at such a point and successfully agitate for reconsideration was truly a unique achievement. The media proved a very important instrument. The extensive documentation of the pollution prepared by the SPS and its appeals to sympathetic members of the academia and bureaucracy was another great achievement. Writ petitions were filed. Jungle is the forest, Jameen is the land and to some extent Khanis are the minerals. 
regard myself privileged to have witnessed this all-encompassing movement, its dedication and inspiration based on the principle of non-violent direct action has strengthened my own belief in this pioneering principle.